Hi friends, my name is Brittany and welcome to my Boldly Rise YouTube channel. Today I'm showing you how I painted this, de or this uh, metal bed frame. I did it all by myself. I used two different methods and yeah, I just wanted to show you the process that I, that I did for this bed frame. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I want to save the big reveal for when I have this entire guest room done. But for now, I'll just show you kind of how I did this metal bed frame if you're wanting to do it yourself or if you're just curious to see how I did it. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to do that right now. So these are the materials that I am using in this project. Um, first, I'll start off with the paint. This is the kind of paint that I'm using. Um, I did choose the flat black because the spray paint that I used was like this satin flat black, and so I, would, I didn't want glossy. Um, and so I figured the flat would work better, and it actually does um, look best next to the spray painted headboard piece than if I'd have gotten glossy. So this is the kind I use. It works on metal, um, and I really do like this. It's working really well. And then a paintbrush. I just You just want to get one um, that is small enough to fit in the actual little paint can. And then, um, as you'll see later, you'll need a Ziploc bag, and I'll explain that later. And then I use um, this screwdriver um, flathead. I can't think of what it's called right now. Just to open the top of the paint can. Um, I use a 220 sandpaper to lightly sand the surface first before I put paint on. Um, and because I'm sanding some metal off, some metal paint off, I don't know what's in the paint. And so I use a mask just so I'm not breathing in that dust because there could potentially be lead in it. And um, that can be really harmful if you breathe it in. So definitely wear a mask when you're sanding. Um, even though you're lightly sanding, you still want to wear some sort of um, protection. And then lastly is just paper towels. I have a wet, um, just like a damp paper towel and then a dry one for when I'm done sanding. Then I use the wet paper towel to go over it to make sure I get all of the dust off. And then I just go over it with the dry paper towel as well to um, just make sure it's all dry and all, all the residue and sawdust is off. Oh, and one more thing. I also use this tarp, this canvas tarp that I lay underneath it um, just to protect the carpet and the floor from getting any dust or um, paint on it and so that really helps to just protect the flooring that it's under and that's all that I use in this project it's super easy super cheap um, not a whole lot of items that you need for this okay so I'm going to start by taking some 220 sandpaper and lightly sanding this whole thing before I spray paint. When you're sanding, just kind of go back and forth. You don't have to go super fast. Oops, I think that was a bug. Um, and then in like little crevices like this, you just want to really kind of try and get like the edge of your sandpaper in there and get it as best as you can. Um, and then like little bumps like that in the metal, you just kind of want to get all around it if you can. And then just kind of keep going slowly back and forth but all the way around and you don't have to push very hard at all I'm like hardly pushing at all I'm just letting the sandpaper do the work just so I can make the surface scratched enough so that the paint can adhere to it so now I'm gonna take a wet paper towel and a dry paper towel and I'm gonna wipe it all down to get all of the dust off because if you don't get that off then the paint will not stick very well at all And now it's time to spray paint. Um, this is what I'm using. I showed you at the beginning of the video, but in case you missed it, um, this is the kind of spray paint I'm using. I really like it. I've used it in my other videos, and this is my go-to. So I'm just going to get to shaping it, and then we'll start spray painting. Okay, so I started spray painting. Sorry if it sounds a little muffled. I have a mask on, um, but I'm just sweeping back and forth. 
and making sure I'm getting everything without keeping the spray paint in without keeping the spray paint in too much of one area because I don't want it to like get too thick and start running um, so I'm just holding it and I'm just going back and forth making sure I'm getting everything and then once it's dry I'm gonna flip it over and then do the other side How satisfying is this? I just love this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's entirely up to you if you want to apply a second coat. Um, I did after I just waited a minute and then reapplied really quickly just to make sure I got everything um, if I missed something. And now I'm going to wait 10 minutes and then I'm going to slide that part down onto the canvas and then spray that part. I waited an hour before, well about an hour, before I flipped it over. Um, I really wanted the paint to just get dry and on the back on this it says you can handle it within an hour. Um, so I waited for the hour, flipped it over, and now I'm shaking it. I'll shake it for about a minute or two and then I will start spraying again. that's it it's all done this part of it is done so I'm just gonna leave it out here for an hour to dry and then hopefully it doesn't rain and I can get it put inside for a while to dry there okay I have my tarp set up underneath the bed frame and I'm just gonna lightly sand it and then I'm gonna paint over it just like I did the headboard part of this bed frame. So I'm going to take the 220 sandpaper again and just, and just lightly sand. Doesn't need to be, I'm not pushing super hard, but I am, oh, there's some sticky stuff there, but I am getting it sanded so that I can paint it later and the paint will actually stick. And now we're going to start painting. So I'm just Dipping my brush in the paint. Now it looks blue, but it will go on black. Like there you can kind of see. So just a little bit coming up here and painting this on little by little. Now it kind of streaks like that, but it'll because the paint is thick enough, it'll kind of run together. <clears throat> so you can kind of tell that some of those spots are going away. But if it's not thick enough, then I'm I've been putting a second coat on. Okay, I got another side of the bed done, but this is just the first layer. Oops, I just, <laughs> just like it. But do you see, like, this little line right there? I can focus this way. Um, how there's, like, little spots right there? So that will be covered when I put the second layer on in two hours. So I'm going to wait two hours, and then I'm going to put another layer on, and then I'm going to move this tarp over there and then I'm gonna do that whole side as well just a little tip for you um, use a Ziploc bag or some sort of bag um, like an airtight thing to hold your paintbrush while you're waiting so that it doesn't dry out and I even had this set overnight last night and I pulled it out of the bag this morning and it was still the paint was still pretty much wet and I could just dip it right back into my paint and then keep going and I didn't have any of those flakes or paint chunks or anything getting on the actual bar. All right, so I just finished putting that very last coat of paint on all the way up there and now I'm completely done with this bed. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because I want your curiosity to be piqued for when I do the big reveal. And you'll find the big reveal on my Instagram 
at Boldly Rise. The link is in the descri description below. And you'll be able to see the whole thing when it's done. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then I encourage you to do so, so you can stay updated with more of the DIY projects that I do around the home. That's extremely budget friendly, um, especially for those of you who are living in a rented home and can't do everything that you see on Instagram and YouTube. But I would love for you to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!